Seventh grade illustrative mathematics. Unit 6, Lesson 2, Practice Problems. Number 1. The table shows the number of apples and the total weight of the apples. Estimate the weight of 6 apples. Well, the weight of 2 apples is 511 grams, and 2 times 3 is 6. So 511 times 3 would give you the weight of 6 apples. 6 apples would weigh approximately 1,533 grams. Number two, select all the stories that the tape diagram can represent. A, there are 87 children and 39 adults at the show. The seating in the theater is split into four equal sections. That doesn't work. B, there are 87 first graders in aftercare. After 39 students are picked up, the teacher put the remaining students into four groups for an activity. That works. C. Lynn buys a pack of 87 pencils. She gives 39 to her teacher and shared the remaining pencils between herself and three friends. That would work. D. Andre buys four packs of paper clips with 39 paper clips in each. Then he gives 87 paper clips to his teacher. No, that doesn't work. E. $87 is spent on four tickets to the fair and a $39 dinner. That would work. Number three, Andre wants to save $40 to buy a gift for his dad. Andre's neighbor will pay him weekly to mow the lawn, but Andre always gives a $2 donation to the food bank in weeks when he earns money. Andre calculates that it will take him five weeks to earn the money for his dad's gift. He draws a tape diagram to represent the situation. A. Explain how the parts of the tape diagram represent the story. X represents the amount Andre is paid each time he mows the lawn. Negative 2 or minus 2 represents Andre's donation to the food bank. 40 represents the amount Andre will save to buy a gift. Each of the five sections represents a week. B. How much does Andre's neighbor pay him each week to mow the lawn? Since 5 times 8 equals 40, and 10 minus 2 equals 8, x must equal 10. Andre is paid $10 each week to mow the lawn. Number 4. Without evaluating each expression, determine which value is the greatest. Explain how you know. A. 7 and 5 6 minus 9 and 3 fourths will equal a negative value. B. A negative plus a negative is going to equal a negative value. C. A negative value times a positive value is going to equal a negative value. D. A negative value divided by a negative value is going to equal a positive value. Out of all four of these expressions, the expression with the greatest value is D because it's a positive value and the other three expressions are all negative values. Number five, solve each equation. A, eight and five tenths times negative three. Well, a positive times a negative is a negative. So eight and five tenths times three is 25 and 5 tenths. So A equals negative 25 and 5 tenths. B, negative 7 plus B equals negative 11. If you add 7 to both sides, you can get B alone. Negative 7 plus 7 cancels each other out, and negative 11 plus 7 is negative 4. B equals negative 4. C. C minus a negative 3 equals 15. 
Well, minus a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. So C minus a negative three equals 15 really means C plus three equals 15. Now we need to subtract three from both sides to get the C by itself. Three minus three is zero, so those cancel each other out, and 15 minus three is 12. C equals 12. D. D times a negative four equals 32. We need to divide both sides by negative four to get the D alone. D times a negative four divided by a negative four is D, and 32 divided by negative four is negative eight. D equals negative eight.